Was Harbaugh's punishment those final three games enough? No. Because I'm not even thinking about Harbaugh, Dan, uh, Shannon, when it comes to the punishment. I'm thinking about the Michigan program. What the hell is going on here? I don't understand why people are having such a difficult time comprehending what the hell I'm saying. If the Big Ten and the NCAA have deduced that you have gained an unfair advantage through unsavory means, meaning that in some way, shape, form, or fashion, you've compromised the integrity of competition because you gained an unfair edge slash advantage. That's all I need to know. You cannot have a college football program in the college football playoffs at the expense of another team with that specter hovering over you this season. It, might, it doesn't require death penalty. It doesn't require loss of scholarships. It doesn't require you missing the playoffs next year or anything like that. But this season, as this season was going on, as you were en route to a 9-0 record, it was discovered you had someone on your staff who was literally infiltrating other sidelines, stealing signals and signs to feed back to a coaching staff who fed it to players, and the players presumably had an unfair advantage. To the Michigan players, I just did last week giving a speech, man, and I said it yards away from the big guys. I didn't give a damn then. I don't give a damn now. I'm not blaming the players. It's not their fault, but it doesn't negate the fact that if, 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 you had an unfair advantage. You cannot go to the college football playoffs at the expense of Alabama, Texas, Oregon, Washington, possibly Florida State. You can't get a playoff spot over one of those people or one of those programs if you have this specter over your franchise. Now, if they come up with an investigation and they say, hey, we couldn't find any evidence, fine. Oh, uh, you know what? It's it, it, it still, it, it, we haven't been able to discover anything. Fine. But if they're saying, oh, you did this? No, you can't be in the college football playoffs. That's all anybody be talking about. Do you deserve to be there? That's a problem. Dan? I, I thought the penalty, it, the, the, the timing of it was absolutely weak. Okay, so before I get into my reason why, can I, I want to ask a question. Or, or just for the context of the conversation, Sammy Sosa, McGuire, Bonds, are they Hall of Famers? Are they all of famous? I don't think McGuire should be personally. Barry Bonds, to me, was a Hall of Famer before yeah. anything with steroids came about. He I would say those are two different different cases. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right. He was fair. a three-time MVP. That's right. That's any, fair. For any specter of steroids. That's and, exactly. And McGuire would be a no for you because exactly. of... Because he lived off the whole runs, and obviously That's, all right. he was... I'm in, glad I asked. In, in, in okay, so this is why I think the penalty is weak. Okay, this is... I'm, I'm reading this off of the Big Ten's report, not mine. These are not my words. Okay. In their report, we impose this disciplinary action even though the conference has not yet received any information indicating the head football coach, Harbaugh, was aware of the impermissible nature of the sign-stealing scheme. To levy the penalty uh, at the time that you do while they're on the plane to Penn State to your biggest game is weak. And to then make the statement – whether you believe he knew or didn't, that's up to you. I, like, we don't have to pretend that we're all stupid, okay? When you make the statement, we're levy, levying a penalty, even though we don't have any evidence that he knew, that's your words, not mine, right. is weak. Either have the courage to say, we have the evidence that this happened and the coach knew and this is the penalty that, they, they, that he is going to suffer, or don't. But don't kind of straddle the line and say, well, we don't have any proof that he knew, but we have proof that it happened. Because then when you suspend the coach, all those young men, they're waking up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, February, March, April, May, June. They're working out. They're killing themselves for a chance to go win a championship. And for you to say you don't have any evidence that the coach knew, whether you believe he did it or not, that's not my point. And then to penalize him, which penalizes the players, is weak. And that's why I sit there and I go, the penalty in itself and the timing of it is, okay. I, I, don't, I don't agree with. Makes sense. Go ahead, Shannon. This is why I disagree with you. Because if he didn't know, he should have known. Ignorance of the law, ignorance of the rule is not an excuse. 
You mean to tell me this guy's going to go rogue? He admires this program. He loves Jim Harbaugh. And he's going to go outside the purview of what Jim Harbaugh would have requested and do this on his own? Jim Harbaugh suspending him does nothing because Jim Harbaugh, yeah, he benefited, but it was his offense or the players that benefited the most, D.O. How can you say, well, and I heard, I've heard so many Michigan players and I've heard so many analysts say it didn't matter. All I know is every time a defensive coordinator or an offensive coordinator call plays, they cover their mouths. Why are they covering their mouths? On both sides of the ball, Dan, D.O., what do they do before they go into the huddle? If it doesn't matter, the defense should just call, hey, over, cover one. They don't do that. The offense should just go to the, to go to the line and just start blurting out plays. Oh, it's about execution. There's a reason why we study film. Because when we study film, what do we get, Dio? We get tendencies. Yeah, what, I mean, does but... team, what does this team like to do? And if I can get a head start, if I just know, oh, that's what that is, I can make my checks accordingly. That's why you check at the line of scrimmage, right, Dio? Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, okay, but they... Michigan ran the ball 32 that's straight. That's not the point. That's, that's not the point. See? That's nope. not the point. No. That's not the point. I'm you know, not saying. I had, I, had an exe- I had an executive just text me this. Stephen A., please say this. Head coach is responsible for all that happens on his watch. The school is responsible for the coach. Players are collateral damage. It's mm-hmm. not right. It's not fair. But it's always been the case. Why the change always. now? Why the change now? We're talking this. We're not talking about how you can point to what plays were run. You ran the football. You didn't throw a pass in a second. That ain't the point. And the assistant coach, I don't know what the hell, Sharon Moore, whatever, whatever, whatever mad respect to him. I don't know what the hell you on national television you're crying for. That hell you crying for? Like, like Jim Harbaugh got fired. Like he lost his job. He like got he three weeks. He got, he got three days off. Because remember, you're allowed to be with the team and coach them throughout the week. Jim Harbaugh and this program did it to themselves. If the NCAA says that you cannot go and film another team's signals, well, you can't do that. Oh, I don't, don't give me this. Everybody is doing it. Stop that. You got caught doing it. So you got to face the music. You got to dance. I mean, the people need to stop this. And like you said, Stephen A., we've seen them take entire programs because they say the coach should have known. If That's you right. didn't know, it's your job to know. You lack, how many times you heard this saying, Dio? Lack of institutional control. And they wipe everything. They'll take national championships. They'll take uh, our conference championships. They will even remove, they will even remove players. Remember what they did to the Fab Five, Stephen A? Remember what remember they did? What? How about Reggie Bush you, you and those see? brothers at USC? USC, do you remember that? Yes. That's Pete Carroll. You didn't know all this was going on? You should have known. Now get it up out of here. So, but Jim Harbaugh, cause we like khaki pants because it's Michigan. Oh yeah, you know, let me no, 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 that ain't how we do it, deal. We're not gonna start that precedent. Okay, <clears throat> I want to. I'll be clear. Obviously, cheating is cheating. I, I mean, I think I, I come across pretty straight with that. Like rules are yeah. rules. Like right? Yes. Okay? Yes. Um, I think the emotion you see from the coach. This is an assumption of mine is because they know they're not the only ones, and that has to be a part of the conversation, Shannon. Like, that, that, that's, that's part of this point. It's not like – and my whole gripe with the whole punishment is this. Saying, well, we don't know that Harbaugh knew, but we're still going to levy a pretty significant punishment when it comes to the, the potential implications on his football team. Say, we know what you did, and you knew it was going on, and then this is the punishment. And there absolutely is a way to punish the institution and not have it, have it negatively impact the kids. And that's why I've said from jump, you hit them with money. You hit the coach with the no. money, and you hit, yes, that's, they don't feel, so here, here's the thing. No. Here, 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 guys, 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 this is what you're losing sight of. Michigan is awesome. They are an awesome football team this year. So if we want to live in reality, they can suspend him for three games this year. They in all likelihood could could win all three of those games. And by the end of November, there's no consequence felt. That's why I'm what? saying, Stephen A. just gave you. Stephen A. Yes. just gave you a scenario. What's they the, don't constant, make the con- football consequence? Playoff. The college just, football playoffs. 
Stephen A., you're sitting here saying. Tell, 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 no, 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 let me stop. Let me stop you. Was TCU the second best team in the nation last year, in your estimation? I mean, on the play in the field, no, they earned, no, no, their, no, no, they no, earned no, their way to the title I, I, game. I, I, but let me tell you this. Yeah, they earned their way, but they weren't the best. You know what? Michigan was supposed to beat them. Michigan was deemed to be better, but guess what? Last two years in the college football playoffs, they went home in the semifinals. Right. Okay, so let's understand that. I don't want to hear about how great Michigan is right now. That don't mean you're going to get it done. I'm not the saying it, the, it, the it, point it's that a lock. I'm, But the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. Listen, man, when you talk about them, if you got schools, if you got other schools that you brought up how they might not be alone, if there's other schools that did this, submit it. They have evidence. Submit it for adjudication. Do that. Do what you got to do. But it still doesn't absolve you. If you think he's guilty enough to suspend him, they should be guilty enough to be exiled from the college football playoffs. Thank you. Complete your regular season games, go to a bowl game, but you will not be one of the final four teams because we're not going to have talking about cheating scandals during a national championship chase. We're not doing that. If you're a no part bowl. of that and the investigation is not closed, definitively exonerating you from such allegations, you do not belong participating for the national championship. I have two no things No Stephen A. They can't go to – no. No, because here's the thing about punishment. Punishment is not only to, meant to, to punish the, uh, the perpetrator. It's also meant to deter future acts. So what we're going to do to Jim Harbaugh in the Michigan program, you're not going to the college football playoff, and you're not going to a bowl. So now we punish you to the umpteenth degree, and we deter all future said acts that might be thinking about that. There's 80-something kids. I would let them go to a bowl. That have poured their heart and soul into one dream. Yeah. And to sit there and say, you're going to take that from them for something that a superior did? Yes. That's tough for it me. It happens all the time. He, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it wrong when it's happened to other people. Yes. Dan, Dan, that, that, you talk about those 80 kids. I want you to tell me who's responsible for those 80 kids. I'm aware and of that, And why didn't he think of And why didn't he think of that? And what about the 80 kids at the other programs? What about, what about Kirby what about Smart that? at Georgia saying, oh, I, don't, I, like, I, I, I don't think it's that big a deal. Okay. I don't think it's that much like that. What about, all the, what, what about all the other coaches that said otherwise? We're, guys, we're talking about Michigan like it's in this own little silo. No, we're not. We're no, talking we are. about the one that got do. caught. That's you in the right. news. I That's remember the same about. thing was say, uh, Stephen A., you remember the same thing was said about Spygate and everybody said they was doing it? But they, guess what? They caught. They specifically gave you instructions, said you cannot film from an elevated perch. That's what they said. Okay, we got to leave it there. No, you can't feel from ground level. You can be elevated like they shoot all NFL, you know, feel, I mean, all film uh, a deal to get content so you can disseminate it, but you can't be field level. What did the Patriots do? Well, everybody's doing it. They didn't catch everybody. They caught you. Okay.